be showing you a bit of a different video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a Terraria clone in Godot. So, you need to start with a main scene. In this case, I am going to be using a 2D scene. So, it's Terraria is a 2D game. I'm just going to name it main. And now I'm going to save my scene. I'm going to make a scene folder so that it's at a good place and not just everything in the same folder. So I'm going to put all my scenes in this scenes folder and I'm going to save my main scene in here. So this is what will automatically load up once we select it right here. Now this is loading our main scene. In here we can add a kinematic body. This is what you'll want your player to be. And now we can rename this player. I can't spell. <laughs> okay. Um, and add a sprite to it. This will be the image that shows up. For now, I'm just going to put the Godot icon. And as you can see, it shows up here. And now this button here will attach an existing script to the selected node. So, our selected node is the player. Make sure that this is highlighted. Then press this button. Confirm that will be player. Um, you don't need a template. I'm going to do empty. So I start with just this. Okay, now in here, we need to start by having the input function. So, this, anything that's inside of here, will only be checked by the game when it senses input such as mouse movement or keys being pressed. So now in here we can do input dot is action pressed. The difference between pressed and just pressed is that just press will check when you click it. Action pressed will check when it is being clicked. So whether it's the start of the click or your holding click. This one is only for a press. This one is for when it's being held down. So we want is action pressed for this. And now in here, left. Now, um, you will have to define um, these input things. So, um, yeah, in here, you'll need to type the action. And then you will need to add it here by doing key, joy button, joy access, mouse button. So those are the options. We're going to be doing keys. So um, A is left. And you can press OK. And now that will make it so when you press A, it will trigger that left input. Then right will be D. When you press OK. It will make it so that D triggers that right input. So now, um, when we press A, it will trigger this left thing. So whenever we press A, it will check whether we're holding it down or pressing it. It will check what's in here. So in here, we will have to um, increase the velocity, which we'll have to define. So right now, we can write velocity dot x minus equals 1. And um, this will create an error because there's no such thing as velocity, so now we need to make it. So now, it's 
a m. We need to say equal to vector two since it's vector two. So a position or something like that. Um, and then since we want to start at zero, zero, since it's not moving left, right, up, or down, we can just do dot zero, which we'll just set to this here is equivalent to doing this. Then we need to do the same thing as we did for left or the right, so if input dot is action pressed, in, except in this case we do right since it's, it's not left anymore. And down here we can do x plus equals 1 since it's increasing in the x instead of decreasing. Now, if we try this out, it will not move. This is because we're um, calculating the velocity, but we're never applying it. So to apply it, we're going to need to do this exact function. Then in here, move and slide, and the velocity. So we're just putting the velocity in here. And we also need to set the velocity equal to this. Here we can also put in an up direction. This will serve for um, knowing when the player is on the floor. So um, the up direction has nothing to do with the x, so it's negative one. Since um, negatives on the x are going up in this and positives are down. So this is the up direction later. All right, now there's no jumping. For jumping, we only want to do it right when you press it. We're not going to like fly up if you keep uh, if you hold it. So um just a jump there. If you're pressing jump, now the velocity dot y will be minus equal um, because that's the up direction. Right now um, they're all one so it's going to be super slow but we can change that afterwards. Um, now gravity always gets applied so gravity's always there so um, Okay, I've just loaded in the um, the player texture. I'm using the wizard because it was easier to find the texture for it. And um, yeah, now we have some Terraria character to use. Um, I'm going to run it to see what it's like, and I'll show you guys. Now that we've had the intended result, we can actually make this speed proper. So, um, we're going to need speed and gravity. So here we can have our speed. And I'm going to set to 96. And then we can have the gravity here. I'm going to set it to... Hmm. I guess 15 since Terraria gravity is not super weak. That's not real world gravity, but that'll do. Now, um, we'll want to flip this character around when it turns, because right now, um, if we move it, it's not going to turn the direction that's moving, but for now, let's make a better testing environment. We can um, get a static body here. This will just be something that stays in place um, 
and we can put collision on it so the player doesn't fall through. So now we have a surface to test on. So all we have to do is place it like maybe right about here. This will do. We'll delete this later. Um, now the player will also need a collision. For now we can just guess, but um, it'll need to be under three tiles. Um, but not too far under because uh, trio characters have to fit under three tile space. Um, now it's going to fall. Now it stays on the surface. Also, as you've noticed, uh, or you might have noticed, if you move to the side, it keeps going. It never stops. That's because there's no friction. So we can fix that pretty easily. Now to add all friction, all we need to do is, um, first of all, obviously, we need to create a variable called friction. Now friction's always something between 0 and 1, so I'm going to set to, in the middle, 0 0.5. And now in here we can apply it, so, um, it's only applied to the x since that's only, um, part that will be touching ground. So we only apply ground friction to the x, since uh, that's the direction that will be slowing down because of that. Um, so the velocity dot x will be multiplied by, um, and the equal here just makes it so that it'll set equal to that thing that we're doing. So um, it'll be the 1 minus the friction, because um, if it's zero, we don't want it to be no velocity, because that's really low friction, so we're doing one minus friction, so it's always between zero and one. We're just doing the opposite. So, here. Um, now that we're multiplying it by this, um, yeah, so much friction that I can't even move now because the speed is really slow and there's friction now. Now right now we have a speed. Um, this here will be how fast it accelerates, not speed, so acceleration. Now we're not going to use that for a jump because this is not the same as moving, like by running or something like that. We're not going to have the same thing for jumping. Jumping is a different thing, so right now we're just going to apply it to this. Now let's see, that should work. So the flipping is pretty simple. All we need to do is flip the sprite, so we can get the sprite by doing this. Then do flip h equal equal um, or not equal equal true because uh, wait no the terraria texture is facing a certain direction so it's equal to false in this case um and here dot flip h equals true this should do I'm gonna go check so um I think that uh, Trey's character might actually be stopping immediately when you stop pressing the keys not, and not like uh, a tiny bit slowly come to a stop. So, um, instead, here, um, here moving is false. And then we can just check, uh, here if you press left, moving equals true and then if you press right we're going to do the same thing moving equals true and then um at the beginning we can set moving to false so unless you're pressing it's gonna make it false so now here, we know if it's moving or not, and then if it's not moving, we can just stop it from moving, so, um, 
here we can do if not so if not moving we can set the velocity dot x to zero there we go so like this Okay, so we're definitely needing a speed limit here, so speed limit, we can set that to something like 256, that should be good. So now, um, so if it's moving, then we're going to be checking, is it speed limit? less or equal to or greater or equal to 256 is greater or equal to that we're saying it back to 256 because we don't want it any higher so we're keeping that 256 if it's at 256 and if it's higher okay that might still be a bit too high oh no it's not too high there we're not even setting it here. That's good. Um, other than right here, I think. Um, yeah, right here. Um, if it's greater than 256, we're saying it to 256. But what if you're not going in the positive x? So, here we can check if the absolute value is greater than 256 and we're saying it back down to 256, but what if it's negative then we had to check, so we can also have the direction, which will also be useful for other things, so. Um, left will be the default, um, and here we can set, um, equals left, and then down here we can do, um, direction, uh, direction equals right, there we go, so now we are keeping track of the direction, so, If the direction is left, then we're going to do the only other possible direction, so we can just do else. Um, there we go. Now we can collapse this. And now we can try this out. Right now though, you might be able to notice that we can jump more than once. Now that's because we're never checking if it's on the ground. It can always jump as if there's something below it. So we're going to need to check that. Right here, we can add if is on floor. Now the reason I'm not just doing and it um, is on floor like that is because once we have wings we can check if it's on floor. If it's on the floor it does the jump. If it's not we do the wing stuff. So There we go. Now this should work. Yep, now it can only jump if it's on the ground. Okay, now it's working just fine. 